it is against the biblical spirit uh -huh. because blood of caste is thicker than waters of baptism but what plays an important role in indian context uh -huh. or tamil nadu context mm. is caste spirit it is not only the holy spirit who inspires uh -huh. but more than the holy spirit caste spirit plays an important role then the leadership should emerge from below particularly from the excluded dalit and tribal communities good morning to damaram viewers today i would like to interview father gosman narigraj regarding sanadar church good morning father good morning lord be how are you father fine thank you okay. how are you yeah i'm fine father uh, father four francis has called for the sanadar church what is the response of the indian church father it's a very good question a good question in today's context as you very well know the holy father has called for a synod which is very important after vatican council this is going to be an important synod normally synods were conducted for bishops but this synod itself is a synod of the people oh therefore the process itself oh is a very good start therefore the holy father asked for the opinion from the various groups of people from various dioceses respecting the holy father's uh, invitation the bishops of india uh -huh. in various dioceses they convened various seminars uh -huh. they invited various groups of people and having in mind the purpose of the synod uh -huh. that is communion uh -huh. participation and evangelization uh -huh. they have listen to the various groups of people uh -huh. particularly lay people uh -huh. women uh -huh. children and so on uh -huh. it's a very good uh, initiative by the indian bishops we need to congratulate them uh -huh. and almost now they have prepared the report and they might have sent uh -huh. these reports to rome oh uh -huh. however the holy father insisted less heard voices oh. unheard voices should be heard oh. in the church oh. therefore the marginalized groups such as dalits tribals oh. they need to be heard more in the indian church for you are the secretary for dalit uh, commission in national level mm. how do you respond to the sanadal church uh, from dalit point of view father it's a good question mm. i was secretary in the national commission from 2006 to oh. 2012 oh. i had the opportunity six to six years yeah, almost yeah. six years i had the opportunity to interact with the various bishops various regional councils oh. however during my interaction with these groups of people oh. what i found the dalit community those who were majority in various regions oh. they were not properly represented in the diocesan pastoral council or in the diocesan level oh. or in the regional level oh. Oh. this was my observation oh. indian church is predominantly oh. dalit church oh. and tribals also form a good percentage uh, of it what happened 
during the synodal process I have already mentioned uh -huh. this synod is different in nature because the synodal process itself is something very different than the previous synods. Yes, the common people's are uh, uh, Yeah, it's involved. people's synod. Yes. So, what happened in various dioceses or in various regions, mm. representation from the Dalit uh -huh. side was not proportionate. So, in almost various dioceses, we have more than 50 percent of the people and therefore, it is very doubtful whether the views or the ideas or the aspirations of the Dalit people are represented in the synodal process. So, uh, still we need to listen more to Dalit voices. Uh, that's from Dalit point of view, number one, observation. Number two, Dalit women, they are very different. Their problems are very different. Uh, uh, number three, Dalit children, uh, their problems are, are very different. different. Uh, so, all these people need to bring out their voices in the synodal process in the Indian context. Uh, uh, Therefore, the voices of the Dalit people are not properly represented. For a various Dalit movements are requesting Dalit leadership in various dioceses. Uh, how do you look at the recent bishop appointments? Example, Madurai Anand, uh, who is appointed as a bishop of uh, Sivagangai. It's a very good question. Uh. We need to respect the decision of the Holy Father and we need to uh. welcome it. And I would like to congratulate the bishop of Sivagangai, Father Anand. Uh. Uh, I know him oh. while he was teaching in Sacred Art Seminary Poonamalli. Oh. I met him. Oh. I interacted with him also. However, we need to rethink selection process of the bishops in Indian context, mm. particularly in Tamil Nadu context. Oh. See, the names are selected from the diocese by the diocesan bishop oh. and the names are sent to pro and from Vatican inquiry is conducted on the proposed candidates. But what plays an important role in Indian context or Tamil Nadu context is caste spirit. It is not only the Holy Spirit who inspires, but more than the Holy Spirit, caste spirit plays an important role. So this just before na, I had something for that. Uh, not only caste spirit, money is also uh, playing in the appointment of uh, uh, bishops like that. There, uh, I got some news. Yeah, maybe uh. because uh, we hear from the people, mm. uh, we hear from the reliable resources uh. or sources that money also plays a very important role, but. Uh, only thing we do not have definite proof, proof for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, uh? yeah. However, I can very well point out uh -huh. caste spirit plays a very important okay. role uh -huh. Uh -huh. because blood of caste is thicker than waters of baptism. Uh -huh. This is what we see in the Indian church, also in the Tamil Nadu church. In the Indian church, uh, there is a uh, another uh, Rivi, uh, Malangara, Malabar, uh, like that. In that, uh, the, the the selection process of bishop appointment is something differently various I, I had about. Just to explain that. Yeah, you are right. Uh -huh. Because there in the Siro Malabar church or Siro Malankara church, uh -huh. local clergy uh -huh. or the local bishops, uh -huh. they play an important role uh, in selecting the uh, candidates, candidates uh, bishop candidates, bishop candidates uh, and they propose the names uh, to Vatican and uh, the Vatican selects uh, uh, one of the names, names. proposed by them. Uh, 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 Therefore, the process is from below. below uh, like that you recommend in the Catholic churches also, in the CBCA. Yeah. Uh, See, uh -huh. in India, as you know, we have three rites, uh -huh. Siro Malabar, Siro Malankara, Latin rite. Latin rite. Uh -huh. So, the Siro Malabar Church and Siro Malankara Church, they have different process of selecting the bishop. Uh -huh. 
Oh. As I have already yes. mentioned, yeah. Yeah. it is from below. Why not in Latin write? Oh, yes, 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 yes. This okay. is what uh, we need to propose because it can be one of the aspect of synodality. Oh. Oh. See, oh. Pope speaks about synodality in the church. Oh. So, while selecting the bishops oh. in Tamil Nadu context or in Indian context, oh. when the local clergy play an important role, particularly in the Tamil Nadu church, oh. there is a possibility of leadership emerging from the marginalized. Oh. Oh. However, you can ask me a question, oh. when there is caste spirit prevailing oh. Oh. here, oh in the Indian context or in Tamil Nadu context, mm, mm. how can it be possible? Oh. So, uh, you may like to ask this question into Dalit Rite. Yes, I have next question. Uh. There is a strong demand for Hindu Dalit Rite or individual church. Uh. Uh, is it a uh, distant dream? For that? It can be very achievable, very near uh, your uh, dream. It can be a uh. nearer dream uh. than as the distant dream. Uh, Why I am saying so? Uh, in Indian context, mm. if we really believe mm. in the synodal process, mm. then mm. the request for synodal church uh, 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 can be a uh, genuine request. Uh, 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 uh. It is not a sociological question. It is an evangelical question. See, during the synodal process, the three aspects were insisted by the Holy Father. Number one, communion. Oh. Number two, participation. Oh. Number three, evangelization. Communion, participation and evangelization. Oh. If you really believe in participation oh. of the marginalized, then the leadership should emerge from below, particularly from the excluded Dalit and tribal communities. Oh. What is happening today is not inclusion, oh. but oh. Exclusion. exclusion. It is against the biblical spirit. Oh. Oh. See, our Lord Jesus Christ chose the twelve apostles from the marginalized groups. Oh. The early church, if you read in the Acts of the Apostles, oh. the leadership emerged from the marginalized, marginalized. groups. Oh. What is happening today? in the Indian or Tamil Nadu church, the leadership emerges not from the marginalized group. Yes. If we really believe in synodality, participation, mm. communion, mm. then we need to promote leadership from below, from the marginalized. Evangelization is also very dull in Indian process. Oh. Please keep in mind, oh. evangelization is not converting people. Oh. I would like to emphasize this. Yeah. Oh. Evangelization is preaching the gospel oh. and living the gospel values oh. and following Jesus. Oh. That is the real evangelization. Oh. Evangelization is not adding more number of oh. Christians oh. Oh. in the Catholic Church oh. or in the various denominations. Oh. So therefore, mm. The real spirit of gospel can be practiced mm -hmm. by the people when we really follow the spirit of Jesus in the lens, through the lens of the synodal church, we can say communion, participation and evangelization can happen in Indian or Tamil Nadu church only when the leadership emerges from the marginalized groups. Oh, okay, Father. Uh, you are demanding uh, uh, Indo Dalit rights. Uh, it's a strong uh, demand. But uh, now uh, there are a lot of vacancies in uh, a diocese for uh, bishop's appointments. Uh, in future, in future means uh, now there is a vacancy of, uh, in Tanchu diocese, Kumbonam diocese, like this in Tamil Nadu, uh, various uh, diocese uh, has uh, fully vacancy. So, uh, coming bishops will be in a Dalit community, Father? I cannot uh, assure you, Lord, <laughs> because... Are you believing that? In the present context of selecting the bishop, oh. 
the uh, process in the present process of selecting the bishops uh, i cannot assure you uh, because uh, as i have already pointed out yeah, yeah, yeah. in the present process of selecting the bishops in latin rite uh, caste plays a caste very important, important role, uh, role. Uh, so vatican as well as the indian church as well as tamil nadu church have to seriously reflect whether there is openness among the bishops in selecting candidates from dalit community open mindedness and overcoming the caste prejudice oh. this is very important oh. in selecting suitable candidates from dalit communities oh. so in future i hope i pray i wish that the candidates from dalit communities are selected as bishops by vatican that is my wish and prayer uh, we believe for that uh, from vatican next appointment will be uh, dalit community from dalit community uh, you have clarified very well as uh, that uh, indo dalit right and in some, the process of uh, appointment of bishops uh, thank you thank you very much father thank you i think this is your first interview in english <laughs> yeah yeah i must appreciate you lord uh, because you have uh, made a uh, first attempt yeah and i wish you all the best thank you i wish many many um, interviews are conducted in english so that it can reach wider audience definitely father all the best may god bless all your endeavors thank you thank you sir